Hello everyone and welcome to this playthrough for the Rookie Division in the Origin Links Tournament video sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic. So let's go! You can see in the video description down below direct time links for the specific uh, holes in this playthrough so you can just uh, fast forward if you want to and stuff like that. So we're going to play one and a half bar backspin. We're going to play by the rough bump here with our Viper. The importance here is to have the backspin 1 .5, uh, in 1.5 bars. Very important. Viper level 6, 2.3 here. Uh, it's going to be adjusted a little bit more. As you will be able to see, we're going with around a little bit less than one and a half rings that are a little bit over adjusted the reason for that is that we're playing downhill and the ball is going to be affected a little bit more by the wind so around 10 to 15 percent more in your adjustment we'll get it very very close coming in with a good amount of speed and uh, we'll be very happy with that shot in the tournament this will be a hole where there will be people making a hole in one so and of course if you do have a sniper for an example that do have more or a better ball guideline then go with that instead because then it's easier to get it like spot on when it comes to uh, uh, adjusting there for the pin because the less ball guideline here of the big dog and also for the viper that we did have then it's definitely going to be tough to get it like straight towards the pin so and on this hole you can basically play with whatever ball you don't have to use a navigator uh, you don't have to use anything else than a basic ball as you can see this is an excellent shot from our opponent as well so hole number one in the books easy birdie uh, but definitely with a rough bump a possible hole in one hole number two we got come to a part five here which we will first and foremost going to play with the driver that do have the most distance and also this the wood club that do have the most distance we're going to play with a titan ball here the reason we do that is that we do need distance for our second shot so even though we will be easily able to reach here to this platform here then we will be needed to have uh, the distance with a titan also a wood club for a second shot so we're going to aim here and going to try to aim as close to the right side as possible we're going to adjust this one for two rings as this ball will be affected a little bit more by the wind as we are playing downhill every single hole that we are playing here in this tournament is it's played downhill in different ways in different ways i mean uh, that some of them are uh, a lot more downhill than others but in the end the ball is affected more by the wind now we got a little bit lucky there as we did hit our ball great and then we did just cut the rough there that is why we're using curl so the curl in that way applies to kind of counter for that if you hit your ball great on the left side it will still roll past or roll through the rough there with your drive so our opponent is having a hat trick ball, sorry, a, a quasar ball here that do have the power one. We do want to have a power three uh, in this occasion. And that is because if we do find ourselves short on our drive, then we do need to apply some distance for our second shot. The thing that is new here for this playthrough is that you will be able to see on the screen, you will be able to see the numbers when it, uh, the the numbers like the levels of the clubs that I'm using and also the rings of my adjustment for the specific uh, club so that is new so uh, that is going to change for every hole that we are playing so hole and number two here again second shot we're going to have the big dog here and the big dog gives us distance and also with the Titan as you could see we are basically in max a distance with our club max side spin to the right with one bar of top sp sorry one bar of backspin actually the reason we're going with one bar of backspin is because we do have some tailwind so we can rely on our ball guideline to be at least as it is now one ring in our adjustment here and then we're going just going to make our shot try to be as close to the pin as possible the thing to have in mind is that the trees are in play so that is very very important uh, when it comes to this particular shot coming in a little bit too much to the right with a little bit too much backspin but in the end we're going to manage to make an easy eagle on hole number two so on hole number three we're going to go and play a part four which is absolutely possible for us 
to reach for the green in one and that is something that is necessary for you to be able to bag the goal in the tournament in my opinion so okay then uh, we will uh, see here hole number three uh, part four we are going to play with our extra mile you can play with the big topper here as well especially if you do find yourself in a situation where you do not have an extra mile maybe you maybe just have a quarterback have a low level big topper go with a big topper with that amount of topspin now we're going to use max topspin on our extra mile here and we're going to drag our as you can see drag our landing position out so we can see the ball guy line in the rough there now we're going to adjust from this position and we're going to adjust it for approximately around two rings on this one i know you saw me eyeballing it a little bit because it was hard to zoom in to use take shot button so two rings and then slightly overpowered our shot to make our ball bounce into the rough and roll out there to the fringe I would be very very pleased to just roll through the rough to get out from the rough and that is how this hole is going to be played. Be aware that we do now have some bushes there on front, in front that you need to basically be in the, uh, in the middle there otherwise the bushes will make your ball stop and then you might going to have a very tough uh, time to reach for the green in one. So extra mile two rings with an extra mile level five puts us very close to the green and we're making an eagle and we'll be very happy with that and sure if you do not feel comfortable or not having the drive for it then you need to go left side and you need to bounce it over put yourself in a situation for a short iron or a long iron towards the pin but take the chance take the leap you don't need to uh, you don't need to uh, overdo when it comes to your shots, so have that in mind while playing hole number three. So hole number four here now, a part three which I really really like and this part three is going to give us some, what can I say, um, some, very, some big rooms here when it comes to making and hole in one. We're going to go for the rough bump. We do not want to play on the fairway platform there before because that will many of the times make us cut the rough or just bounce left or right depending on if we hit it perfect or if we do hit it great. But in the end, it's definitely going to be a good opportunity for us to make an hole in ones. Sure, this is going to be kind of an easy birdie in the end for our opponent. But now we're going to go for the rough bump. First and foremost, do not use a power, power three or power two ball use a power like power one ball so you are not finding yourself in between clubs that is the first tip in my opinion for this particular hole two bars of top spin we are using the horizon because we do have a viper that do not have the top spin enough to get to the pin then we will fall short we do want to use the right side of the green uh, to make our ball to be pushed from right to left where the skinny part of the green is all the most going for one ring so around 0 0.8 rings for this adjustment and now we want to hit it perfect and we want to cut the rough make it roll up to the green coming maybe in a little bit little bit little bit too much to the right there so but in the end it makes us uh, to be very close and i'm pretty sure that we will see many holding ones on hole number four so and when it comes to hole number four, again, you can play with whatever wood club you like, but be aware that you need to have two bars of topspin. Hole number five, and now we're going to come to the second part five, and this is going to be a hole that is going to be tricky for, for, uh, for some players here, and that is because we will be finding ourselves in a pretty weird spot here if playing this one with the wrong ball. Uh, we are going to go with max side spin to the left and also max back spin on a titan and the titan is going to be used as we do need the distance for our second shot we do not need it for our drive but for our second shot we're going to go with uh, one and a half rings for our extra mile and we're going to make this one bounce over the bunker there on the left 
and put ourselves up as close really to the top of the rough there as possible but in the end the thing that we want to get is to have an open shot towards the trees there in the middle so we can curl it around so that works perfectly and again the titan is there to help us with the distance for a second shot you might see the right side there and you might think like okay now i'm going to try to bounce over the water as i do have some tailwind that is something that you should never try to do the only way to go on that side if uh, is if you would be having the wind for going over the water directly on your drive and that will require a wind of like 16 17 miles per hour with a snow globe ball um, or a turbo ball so don't think about that play it safe safe on the left side make yourself bounce forward here as our opponent is doing making a very very good shot there with a marlin problem here again with a marlin is that you do not have any distance with it and you will be having to overpower your shot and that is something that you do want to stay away from so as you can see here even though we do have a titan we still are not reaching as far as i would like i would like to have one ring more uh, in in my landing position a max side spin combined with just a tiny tiny little bit of backspin and now we're going to stretch it out just a little bit as i want to hit uh, bounce my ball just by the bunker or at least a little bit closer to the bunker so dragging it out and adjusting from that position going with two rings uh, uh, sorry uh, two rings here as we do have the overpower which means that we will gain more distance with our shot uh, than uh, than having just a normal shot so we do have to over adjust that one just a tiny little bit coming in here very nice and we're going to end up making an easy eagle here so hole number five uh, was this we are already halfway through and again we have no real struggle so far of course the wind is helping us a lot but the importance as you will be as you hear me talking about is to choose the right uh, club and choose the right ball because if choosing the correct setup with your bag then you're going to have no problem whatsoever to get to the green in two on the par fives you're also going to be able to get to the green in one on the short par four that we have on hole number three and also when it comes to uh, hole number one to maybe bag that hole in one but choosing the wrong uh, setup uh, setup with your clubs that could be very very tough uh, shots to be made so our opponent makes a very very good shot coming in high using the green to fall down towards the pin hole number six another hole where it's crucial for you to get an eagle and even though it's a short part four it's still going to be a tough one first and foremost we are going to play this one with a driver that gives us at least four bars of top spin have that in mind so we, our extra mile works perfectly using uh, as much side spin as possible with a marlin here and the reason we're using a marlin marlin instead of using maybe a katana that has power two or titan or kingmaker that have power three is because we will be in between clubs if you're using a ball with more power so we're going to use a marlin uh, to reduce the power going with one and a half ring in our adjustment and then we're going to hit our ball perfect and want to use the rough to slide the ball down towards the pin so get the distance right we're going to have a very easy pot there for the eagle and this is basically uh, not basically this is the way that you are supposed to play hole number six our opponent is going to try uh, to uh, play the same type of shot the thing to have in mind here when you do adjust even though you are in minimum distance of your driver then you need to adjust your driver as for being in medium distance so in medium uh, and that is again for playing this hole downhill and we do not want to go into the rough or into the bunker there in the middle it's going to be very 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 tough for us our opponent tried to use as much top spin as possible going into the rough there in the middle very very tough shot i do not suggest going that one uh, whatsoever so we bag an eagle on hole number six i'm going to go to the last part three that we do have which is hole number seven so hole number seven uh, 
and I can say that directly hole number seven we aren't going to do a good shot here uh, but we're going to talk about it nonetheless the thing is here that we are not going to be able to go for the rough bump that was a plan from the beginning but due to tailwind then we are not going to be able to do that as even though we're using just a basic ball we are still going to have too much uh, of uh, wind to adjust for to be able to use it for the rough bump and I don't want to underpower a driver a drive shot so then we need to bounce it over the rough here with our wood club instead as you can see here now I'm going to try like the Marlin still does not have any power and as you can see we are very very like a cutting edge there with the rocket and I don't like those small margins there uh, so we're going to go with backspin behind like over the rough and try to get this one as close as possible with not being able to go for the rough bump this hole is going to be very it, a lot tougher than normal so we're going to adjust this one uh, for two rings here with our big dog and we do want our ball to use the speed that comes in with the tailwind to bounce over the rough and get to the pin so the problem we get here is that when we hit our ball great on the right side then we will put more rough in play and then we're going to cut the rough. Still in the end we have no problem to make our ship from, from the fringe but if hitting that ball perfect then we will be way way closer to the pin and possibly making them hole in one. But a bit sad that we can't play the rough bump but now in my opinion this is definitely a birdie hole so be happy with taking a birdie. Uh, don't be that mad if you don't uh, get the hole in one but focus more on the other short holes uh, and take it from there so we are going to forfeit as you can see we're going to forfeit this game and then we're going to go to hole number eight and hole number eight and we're going to go and play ourselves up short and the reason we're going to do that is because we do not have any clubs with backspin and that could be something uh, if you're playing in the f in the first division may not have that upgraded clubs then I Then it's very very important for you to play up short to actually have a shot for the pin instead of struggling by going too far so our opponent here is looking for a way to drive over the water here uh, I think that at least because it was set up that way yeah, that was the plan, I guess, and that is a, that is definitely not the way to play the hole. I should stay away from. I I would say stay away from that one uh, every time. So you can see here, I'm using the quarterback to give myself some control, but I'm also having the viper. So we're going to play the viper here, play as short here as possible, giving ourselves an open shot towards the pin. Uh, to uh, to go for the pin so max backspin max side spin using a quasar as we do need side spin on this hole and we also want to reduce the power as much as possible for us so we can we should be very very fine with a ball with power one so we hit the ball perfect just playing ourselves up short giving ourselves a little bit a little bit more room to go to the pin if having a thorn or having a saturn uh, upgraded that you do have a lot of backspin then you could play yourself up there close to the front and then have a lot of backspin going for your second shot but again in the end we need to play the holes for where uh, where the clubs that we do have and this is absolutely going to be a possible drop for us even though it's going to be way tougher than having uh, having backspin on our clubs so if you do have a thorn if you do have uh, the the saturn then definitely you do have an advantage for going for the eagle but still you're going to make the shot and going to have to do so so my friends now we come so we go to hole number nine now uh, after this shot so we're going to go the second shot here I'm going to be in minimum distance with our wood club and this is kind of a problem so this is something that we need to have in mind too so we do not go that far with our drive so setting it up there with max is backspin combined with side spin to the right 
So we're going to go with a little bit more than one ring, but as you can see there, we're still going to have to underpower our shot. And that is why I'm dragging up my ball to just cover the edges there. Now we did hit it great. And of course we're going to miss this one on the left side, but I don't like when having to underpower or overpower a wood club, if not absolutely necessary to reach as far as possible, but under underpower is not something that you normally do. So play your drive up a little bit, uh, a little bit shorter or like your wood club up as you're not playing with your driver. So play your wood club up a little bit shorter uh, or use a wood club for your second shot that do has uh, have a little bit more backspin. So hole number nine, last hole. Can we bag the eagle on hole number nine? Uh, that would be awesome. And we're definitely going to do our best to do so. So we're going to have to have, first and foremost, going to have a driver uh, as the extra mile. We're going to have the extra mile level five. Of course, we could play with other drivers, but in the end, to be able to do the shot that I'm going to do with my driver, then our, an extra mile is required. So when it come, and also for the second shot, uh, it's required to have some distance with the big dog uh, to give ourselves that room to go to the green in two. So, okay. The drive here we're going to take a titan we do need distance so again spend a titan on this hole especially if you do have the clubs for it but you can see here now even though stretching this ball out we are only stretching it out to see okay how far will our ball guideline uh, reach if making a max over power shot perfect and then of course we have to estimate with the wind that we're having that as we are doing as we are having a little bit of uh, tailwind here Going to go with one side spin to the left just to make sure that we're not hitting ourselves into the bunker on the right side. Max overpower, important to not hit too much great on the right side, so it's a very tricky shot. We want to bounce it over exactly as we're doing here and might want to take one bar of topspin instead of one bar, uh, sorry, instead of just playing when it comes to backspin or topspin, because we do want to get as close to the top as possible. But be aware, don't use more than one bar of topspin for that, sh that shot. Otherwise you will risk going into the water or you will risk going into the rough. And of course, going into the rough or into the bunker as our opponent is doing here, then it's going to be impossible for you to reach for the green in two. And then you need to be very, very accurate to give yourself the opening there so you can reach for the green in three at least. But, okay, we did get the distance for our drive, so we're going to have to play with a big dog. Now we're going to have some sidewind slash tailwind and not that much. We do not want to go with any type of top spin to bounce over the bunker. Then we will roll up too, high, too long and we'll go into the bunker or into the rough on top of the green. So we need to stretch it out using no no uh, backspin we're going to adjust for two rings even though two rings is a little bit too much but as we have to overpower we need to estimate that the ball is going to travel further than normally and we need to count for that we get it to bounce perfectly there for us we get the roll coming in uh, a little bit too hot but in the end we take that shot to the fringe and we will take that every single time we play this hole of course, the key is to reach a little bit further with your drive, then you don't have to overpower, but otherwise that is the shot to go with. To slightly overpower your, your second shot, bouncing it over the bunker, stay nicely on the fringe slash on fairway. I would say this is the uh, toughest hole for us in the tournament, especially from the front tee as you're not having that much wind to go with. So be very accurate with your drive, give yourself the opportunity. If you're not having the clubs for it, or choosing the wrong setup of clubs, then you will have to play yourself up forward and then you will have a short iron, long iron or a wedge for an e e eagle for, from distance. This is not an albatross hole and I will be very, very surprised to see albatrosses on this one in the tournament. So this was the playthrough for rookie division in the origin links tournament and yet if ready hopefully you will make a good score and hopefully this video will help if you do have any questions please make a comment in the comment section below and i will be happy to help you out there and in the end i want to wish you the best of luck in the region links tournament and the video is sponsored by golf clash and playdemic